next form is the cone. To draw the cone, we're going to start basically with the top of a triangle. Except instead of going straight across at the bottom, we're going to do a curved line. And that's going to be the cone. And again, you're going to choose where your light source is going to be. Now you can have a little bit of fun with your light source. You could pretend like you're drawing a little light bulb, if you'd like. And then have it come down. I would highly suggest that you draw your light bulb off to the side. Don't try it up on top or down below, but I would keep it simple for right now since we're just learning. Draw it from the side, so either this side or this side. Now when you shade this in, let me show you one other thing. A lot of students have a tendency to shade this in wrong. They want to take, if your light source is here, they want to take this and they want it to go light here. So this would be the white and then it comes across and gets dark this way. Well, that's wrong because if the light is coming down and it's hitting this side of the cone, wouldn't this entire side be white? So as you think about shading in the cone, think of this as a piece of pizza that you're sharing with a friend and you're cutting it into smaller sections. And again, remember we want at least four different colors or four different values. We want a white, two mediums, and a black. So there's your white, here's your light medium, here's your dark medium, and here's your black. Notice that the top is much skinnier and then as you come down it gets wider. So this would be the side that is the darkest right here. And again, if you can get more than four values, go for it. This next one would be the next darkest value. The more values you can get, the better it is. Now the other thing, another little trick that you can do, notice I'm going, I'm, value, I'm adding value up and down. Really this is round, so really we should be adding value in curves. So if you want to add value this direction, then the pencil lines help kind of show the contour of the shape. You can see that kind of start to take take place here. Okay, and remember we're trying a gradation so we don't want to see kind of those lines in there. And then this could just get lighter and lighter and I'm going to pull this a little bit further. Kind of get rid of that line. We always want to make sure we leave white. We always want to make sure we leave white and we have black on one side. Okay, now for cast shadow here, we're going to start at the bottom. Start from the bottom, the very bottom. And cast shadow is not going to come this way because this is the light source on this side. Cast shadow is going to be away from the light source. So again, if we go across here, our cast shadow is going to be on this side. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring this cast shadow. I'm going to bring it out. And my cast shadow is going to end right at the top here because the cast shadow is not going to go any higher than right this corner right there. And again, we want this to be nice and dark closest to the object, to our form. And then as it comes out, it's going to gradually get lighter. And there is your cone. Our next shape, or our next form, I should say, is going to be our cylinder.